Waste, refuse, litter, debris, and rubbish are all words Boylan wishes he could have remembered instead of just trash and garbage repeatedly. Aside from four-letter words, were the only thing he could use to describe this zombie juggernaut release method. What's up, MSFers? It's time for your recap. Within less than two weeks of the announcement of Diamond, Scopely shows their hand with the first of what is obviously a character meant for spenders only. This character is going to require you to spend at least 300 cores a day, and even then you may not be guaranteed the unlock. If you do manage to unlock Zombie Juggernaut without spending on him, then you'll have him at such low star levels you won't be able to complete his event, and you'll have to invest massively in resources to compensate for his low stats, which is why I'm recommending to all players that they skip this character entirely. Don't even engage in his event if you can avoid it. This one was so bad that most content creators were questioning whether the event was even done accurately or not. We've actually had blog posts regarding Zombie Juggernaut since then, which outlines that yes, this is exactly the way the event is supposed to be going. If you're interested in hearing more about the events and you want to watch only one video, then I highly recommend you make it Mongoolie's video. It was by far the best breakdown of the content in this event. And as previously stated, there were some errors in the event and there was some compensation for those errors. Do they matter? Not really. They aren't going to change his unlock for you. What does matter is that they accidentally put red stars for Zombie Juggernaut all the way to seven in the Elite Store, which basically made their auction useless. What did they do? They put diamonds for Zombie Iron Man in the auction instead. They've got to have something for those Krakens to waste their dollars on. On a more positive note, we'll have Nexus chapters 5 and 6 coming soon. Now hard is a mm, relative term. We expect these to be fully auto. And finally, Incursion 2 makes its way to the game. Rewards will include awakened abilities for Black Cat, Gear Tier 18 pieces, and the removal of combat modifiers. That's right, progression through this will be based on difficulty and skill alone, so expect about three gambits to spawn in in those tech nodes so when RNG takes its toll, you'll hope to land stuns on them but fail and have to spend cores healing your team. Will Scopely continue to cater to its biggest spenders, or will they pivot back to the wider player base? I'll keep bringing you the latest. I'm Run7, bringing you yesterday's news today. Viral orb... Viral... Viral orb? On a bar... Okay. Debris, junk, detritus, sweepings, dregs, remains, rubbish, dross. I never heard that one before.